I'm Nick Salazar with TriRig.com and this is our review of the Finnis Swim P3 underwater MP3 player. It comes in some pretty nice packaging. Uh, this box has a, like a little magnetic flap closure right here which is actually pretty nice. Um, and then what's inside is the unit. Um, regular latex swim cap with the Finnis logo on that. I don't use swim caps so I'll toss that. A um, little instruction manual. It's pretty brief and basic because the unit itself is pretty basic. Um, it's just got some diagrams of what the buttons do. There's uh, just some basic stuff on how it works. Um, a little carrying case if you should want it. Um, a pair of goggles that's actually pretty nice. We use these, uh, it's just a regular rubber gasket model. That's the type that I like to use personally. Um, and they're a little smoke color. They dim, dim the light a little bit. Really nice, actually very comfortable pair of goggles. And of course, the unit itself. Um, the unit is pretty well made. Um, it's just made of plastic. It uh, seems pretty robust. Doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart on us. The basic controls are here on the um, right hand side piece. And that's all there is to it. This is the entire unit. It's just the two ear pieces and then the cord that connects them. And in the center of the cord, this little piece is actually a USB plug. It looks kind of funky. Um, it's thinner than a regular USB plug, but rest assured it actually does just plug into a standard USB port on a laptop or a PC or a Mac. Um, and it works just fine. And it doesn't matter if you get this wet. It's still waterproof. You just should make sure it's dry before you actually plug it into your computer again. And it has a little rubber gasket here that helps seal that in. But uh, that's pretty much it. The unit's real nice. It works as a regular USB thumb drive, and that's how you load music. And then it just has some pretty basic buttons over here. This red button right here is the on-off. This little dot is a reset button, uh, which will just restart the unit if you're having any trouble with it. Um, and then track forward and back. And if you hold on the track forward and back, they become volume buttons. Um, the unit doesn't have any headphones on it. Rather, you put these little plates right here around your temple, more or less, and they're supposed to vibrate your head and uh, make you listen to music that way. So uh, let's take it in the water and see how it works. So the good news is, this bone conduction technology actually works pretty well. Although the unit sounds pretty dry and tinny when you're on land, once you get in the water, the audio fidelity improves significantly and it sounds pretty darn good. The bad news is that audio fidelity gets a bit worse as you start swimming. The sound of your own breath and the water rushing by your head kind of drown out the music, and even at the loudest volume setting, it's hard to equate this to, say, putting on headphones and going for a run. At the end of the day, the Swim P3 is the only underwater MP3 player that we've gotten to use reliably. However, it's still not as good as we would wish, and so we can't give it our highest rating. Ultimately. If what you're after is some music underwater, there's currently not a whole lot of choices out there, and the Swim P3 is one of the best.